Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and I'm playing No Man's Sky, as you can probably tell from there. I'm just flying out to my freighter because I've got some frigates to debrief. I guess I do. And then we're going to be hitting up some more autophage language. And in today's episode, I think I'm just going to hit on up a normal area of space. Why did my freighter not appear? Let's make the game a bit bigger, shall we, people? Let's try that again. Hello, freighter! Lovely. We fly on board, and we'll see if my frigates and freight well, frigates have gone up to S-Class. I'll see you on the bridge. Righto, people. I'm on my bridge, and I sent out the mission separately last time. Separately to see if they get a better XP share. I don't even think that's a thing. But there we go. That's that one done. Thank you. Let's head on over to this one over here. Let's hit this one up and see if this one's done. There we are. Lovely, lovely. I could just send them both on the same freaking mission, couldn't I? And I did get given a load of frigate fuel as a reward for doing my piratey missions the other day. If you didn't see me doing my outlaw missions, I'll put a link up there. Go take a watch of that. It was extremely brilliant. Okay, here we go. We'll go for this one then. It's a free star combat one. Gonna last two hours. And let's go get my... Nope, they're still both A classes. We'll put both of them on the same one just to save some time. Go, diddly go. Fly, my pretties. Fly. Okay, right. Now, we're just gonna jump to a normal area of space, peeps, I guess. Because, yeah, um, I've got a feeling that you can just find these dissonant sort of... Well, not dissonant, but uh, th these sort of like uh, little robots anywhere so let's just go there Corvax system of space why the fudge not i'll see you there people right well i've arrived to get it inside of this system now if i just get my hmm i'll probably have to be in my ship actually let's go down to my ship where are you shippity ship shippity shippity actually probably don't let's just go over to my multi tool make sure that's done there we go lovely Autophage has been bound. We'll take my sentinel ship just in case we come across something I want to blast to smithereens. Let's go, sentinel ship the ship. Lovely. Okay, right. Where's it found this? Yeah, over here. And this isn't a dissonant system. So yeah, my thoughts were correct in thinking from my previous video the other day. Because yeah, in one of my videos I went to a system that wasn't dissonant and we did find these camps. And people were like, that shouldn't have worked like that. Oh look, we just got a new subscriber. Hello, new subscriber. Andredge Grillius just subscribed. Thank you, Andreg. Probably butchered your name. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I've come across these autophage camps, not on dissonant systems. Now to find these autophage camps though, you do have to actually have started the Echoes content. You need to have that doohickey installed like I've got and all that sort of shenanigans. And it is quite end game, so you've got to at least have done the purge. And there's a few other prerequisites. Anyhow, so this is my end game. Right, this is a lovely orangey sort of planet, isn't it? Boom! Hello! <laughs> How are you? Cool, well, let's have a look see. And something else that I've found out, people. If you go to present Atlantium or give them a gift, the second option down, they give you a little snippet of lore. Of course, you've got to know their language. This will be of help. Thank you. The Corvacs are lost without Prime. They look down upon us, but they understand little. Atlantid has chosen us. Interesting snippet of lore. Right, anyway, I'm going to learn a word from this guy and then do a mission with him as well. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more than I would normally do with these guys. There we go. Let's learn the word. Because, yeah, why not? Now that I know some of the lingo, I might as well share with you the nuggets of info that these guys have. Let's do their mission. What mission have you got there? Starship Salvage. Right, before I hand this mission into him, I need to make sure that I'm in creative mode. Because you can give him the stuff. If I was in normal mode, it would have given away all that ship salvage. But if it's in creative, it doesn't. So that means I can just keep hitting them up over and over again, and I won't lose my ship salvage, which then I'm going to learn loads of words for doing easy peasy missions. I've done lots of these missions. I don't really need to do them over and over again. Thank you very much. Right, let's get the law. Thank you for the gift in exchange. Let me tell you a little secret. Yes, go on then. Atlantium is holy, her flesh. It helps us to rebuild. So Atlantium, by the sounds of things, are part of the Atlantid, the Void Mother. That's a little bit scary. Eh? Right oh. Okay, cool. Right, I want to learn a word. Teach me a word, my friend. There we go. 
for some reason, it's letting me hand in even more to this guy. All right, let's try again. Can I give him more? Yeah, I can keep presenting Atlantium for some reason. Thank you for the gift. Is it the same one? Yeah, it's just the same same tip that he just gave me. All right, mate. Well, we'll stop doing that then. What's the actual mission you're going to have me do? This one? Okay, well, I've got those already. No, I don't. I've got to build one more. Okay. Um, I build a few. There we are. Now we can go talk to him. Chikapa! Done! My guess. Oh, it's those little guys. Look, look at these. Look, they're really cool. I like little little gophery type looking gits. Look, and they cool. Alright, I'm getting in camera. Look, ah, and they cool. Hello, mate. Yeah, looks like something off of one of those um, adverts. Compare the meerkat.com. Alright, let's go over here. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, mate. Why well, you got a trident in your name? That's a bit worrying. Okay, practice language. Learn a word. Yes. I think I'm getting close to 900 words. We'll check the word ditch in a second. In fact, let's check the word ditch now. Catalog, Corvax, and then go into auto badge. And we're now on 787 words. We're close to 800 words. I have heard, though, that it's like a thousand words to be learned. A thousand! A thousand! Okay, All right, let's carry on then. Right now. Yes, let's, let's give you a gift. You know of Atlantium. It's ancient, the core of Corvax Prime. It's more than lattice. It's alive! We had that one the other day. I've kind of got a feeling that there's not many bits of dialogue to be had here. I think I'm seeing repeats, but we will press on, people. Repair lost auto page. That's going to take me to another camp. Don't mind if I do. How far away is said camp? Is it going to tell me? 49 minutes. Well, we're going to cut that journey time in freaking smithereens. Cut it into smithereens, Steve. Yes, let's go. Chagoon, and we're off. 38 seconds. Yes, I'll see you there, people. Right, uh, well, the landscape does something a little bit weird around here, people. And so it's pointed me to an approximate location. And that approximate location was down in the... It was down in the freaking drink, people. But now it's pointing me past this trading post. Okay. All right, fine. Let's go. Let's go into the freaking night. Okay, I'm going to slap my face on a rock. Okay, wait for my jetpacks to uh, charge up. And then away we go. Go, 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 Steve, go. Heck yes. There I am. 141 years. Still this way. Okay. Yow. There we go. We've found it. Nice. Hiya! Alright, well, let's bring in all the autophages. Because sometimes, sometimes, if I leave that there and one of these guys say, repair a lost autophage, sometimes I get away with repairing the one right freaking next to them. Happens occasionally, not often. It's sheer fluke if it freaking does. Let me put it that way. There we go. Doing! Do it! And I want to do your mission, but first. I'm going to give you a gift. I see you, Disruptor. What do you see in me? Spare parts. This is valuable. There you go. We were erased. The Atlas did nothing. It had the power to save us and made the choice to do nothing. It was she who showed us how to exist again. The Void Mother, people. The Void Mother is who they're on about. Okay, well, let's go back in again then. And let's do the mission. Collect dioxide? Rather not. I've got some on my person, though, that you can have. You can have the dioxide vested in me. Oh, bollocks. I don't have any dioxide. All right. Um, I can get dioxide rather quickly, though, I think. My um, freighter. And I'm fairly sure... I keep myself some frost crystal on here. I'm fairly sure I do anyway. I used to. I used to have some. Have I gone and used it all up? No. There you go. I've got some right there. If I just take half of that and put that in there. Why won't you let me put it in there? Okay. I have to put it in my s starship then for now. Righto. Okay. Let's call my starship closer. 
Have I got something already in here? Yes, I had some nanite clusters in it. Dang it! Right, starship. Where's that deoxide that I just got? Because I'm fairly sure... Ross crystal. It turns into glass, doesn't it? Hmm. How do I make this deoxide? One second, I'll be right back with you. Okay, people, there's a few ways that you can craft it, and it's not using freaking frost crystal. It's not. Okay, right, okay, fine. Oh, there is, actually. You can use frost crystal and salt. So if I get the salt, bang. And then if I go to my starship... Where's that deoxide gone? I mean, not deoxide, my freaking lovely stuff. All right, well, let's check in here, then. Where'd I put the frost crystal? Dang you, frost crystal, where are you? There you are. Oh, I had some there anyway. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go in there. There you go. That's going to make me a load of deoxide. It's going to take me a minute and a half, but yeah. So that makes deoxide. You can use. You can also use carbon and sodium nitrate, condensed carbon and sodium nitrate, ammonia and ferrite dust. It's not me that knows all this. Look, I'm using the No Man's Sky Assistant app, people inside the Viewerverse. It's freaking awesome for this sort of stuff, I guess. If you haven't got the No Man's Sky Assistant app installed on your mobile device, you're missing out. Yes, it's always in my video descriptions. Check my video descriptions. That's what all I can say there, people. Anyway, this is nearly done after that two-minute plug of the No Man's Sky Assistant app. That's just not even close to that. We've still got 55 seconds left. I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to drink some tea, people. Because I've got a lovely mug of tea right here. Again, shameless plug. You can get this mug from my merch store. Also in the video description. Along with the brown stuff inside of it. It doesn't come with the mug. You have to buy that separately. Yeah, so I've also got my own brew of tea. I know I'm a salesman and a half. Oh, well, there we go, people. We've only got two seconds left. Done. Oh, by the way, that tea that I advertised, nobody, nobody, I repeat, nobody has bought any. No one. It's been there for months. Uh, anyway, anyway, yeah, anyhow, let's... Uh, <laughs> I digress. Oh, I still haven't got a freaking nuff. You having a laugh? Okay, right, well, I've got a little tip for that as well. So if you put down one of these refiners, and then you get your deoxide and stick it in there, this works with anything, then you just get another refiner... And stick it on top of the refiner like so so it goes green and you just put down as many refiners as you want to duplicate it uh, like so there you go that'll do don't need to be greedy bang look at that now i've got shed loads of deoxide don't have to go dig any up and i could have dug some up you're quite right i could have I've been doing it for freaking years. Got over a thousand hours in this game. If you think I really need to go around terrain manipulating stuff out of the ground now, people, you're sadly mistaken. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, that's that's pretty much the same. That's the same he said before. I've already spoken to him. Anyway, that took me longer than I needed, isn't it? Hello, buddy. How are you? All right, yes, I'd like to learn a verb, please. Yes. I would love your dialect help, sir. Uh, wrong! Okay, alright. Well, um, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to give you a gift for your wrong word. There we go. Have a spool of nano cables and offer a friendship. Why, thank you. You're welcome. The, spurs, the firstborn could not delete her. The void mother now creates herself. She is coming. So... This one actually mentioned the Void Mother in namesake. Void Mother now creates herself. She is coming. Sounds like an entity to me. Sounds like a real thing. Rather than a place. Where does the Void Mother live? In the Void, I'd imagine. You would have thought so, wouldn't you? It's like spiders living in spider webs. Of course they do. Of course they do. And here we go. Repair lost auto page. We'll try repairing that one right next to us in a minute, people. And we'll see if that fixes it. Hello! How are you? Yes, I've come to learn words and generally annoy you. Yes, we're going to practice language. Lovely. There you go. Dialect help, please. Yes, teach me a word of action. Nice. Right, well, let's uh, let's get a snippet of lore off this one, shall we, people? Present some Atlantiums. Thank you for this contribution. Do you like my carpus? I built it myself from what I could salvage. We all build our own bodies. Well, well done you and your Blue Peter-like skills. Looks like you've got a sentinel for a head, mate. Pretty nice. Okay. Repair lost autophage. Yet again. Thank you very much. 
Hello, you look like you got a stapler for a head. Practice language! Teach me a word of your language! Mystery symbol! Expenditure! I'm expending too much time at these camps, I'm telling you that much for free. Yeah, you don't even have bloody marshmallows. No, no marshmallows. Oh look, there's a word I don't know there. I will tell you a secret disruptor. A lantium gives us power, gives us shape. That's an untrustable one, doesn't it? Right, okay, well, well we're gonna be doing a mission. We've had sort of deviants of that already though. Chicka pow! Oh, I went in too quick. It's too quick! Now I can go in. Chicka pow! There you are. Lovely. Where'd that other one go? That he walked behind this barrel and vanished. Are you the barrel hopper? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay, right. Practice language with this guy. Sweet. I think you get the general gist of what I'm doing here, people. There's not much that's going to change from this. However, we are learning some lovely snippets of lore. So if you are enjoying this, then great. But it's a bit of reading, isn't it? There are not many autophages yet, but we are coming. Many echoes are still healing. They wait in non-existence. Yeah, because we're sort of building shelves for these guys to birth into, aren't we? It's like a sea of consciousness. Craft hermetic seals. I can craft those right now. There you go. Crafted. Heck yours, because I'm crafty. There you go. Boom. And I've already visited that one. There was one standing right here. He's freaking moved. Where'd he go? Are you him? Visited that one. And maybe I've done them all. Who knows? Right, let's turn this in then. Let's fix this one. Let's see if it fixes all of them. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yes! Fixed! La, 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 la. Okay. Let's go into the log. Let's see if these ones... Repair lost autophage, repair lost autophage. Well, we'll go repair all your lost autophages. Then I did learn that if you just go to a mission agent, like in a station, you can hand in all missions at once. You don't have to go back all to the camps, which is quite handy and dandy. But yeah, it didn't complete the other autophage ones. I've still got to fly to new camps. So, there we go. We're getting very camp here on this one, because we are. We have liftoff! To the sky! I'll see you at the next camp, people. In fact, I might do the next two camps. I think you get the general gist. If I come across any really cool lore, I'll be sure to jump back in. Okay, well, now I'm being prompted to return all to the mission agents who um, gave me auto pages. I've not been given any more other auto page missions, so I've gone to three camps in total in this episode, people. So let's fly on up to the station. Let's go bank that, and we'll go and see how many words we learn. I guess. It should give us another nine words handing in these missions. Let's see if it works in a normal space station. I know it works in a pirate station. Oh, fudge off. Really? Uh, I would just answer your hail, mate, but um, I, for whatever reason I can't. So, yeah, what do you want? Illegal cargo. Um, surrender counterfeit circuits. I'm going to refuse. Mainly because I'm in creative mode. They can't hurt me in creative mode, so, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's go. They should just they should should just fly away. They come back, they come in, then they disappear. Because creative mode. So you know, if you ever do want to just keep all your real gotten gains, I would have given them my contraband. The only thing is I've got a load of those um station overrides which are contraband. And obviously we can't use them yet until we get some sort of update that makes use of them. And they were hard to come by. Rare as, mate. Rare as. Let's fly on in then. And let's go turn these into the missions agents and see what happens, people. I guess. And see if we can do them all at once. That'd be cool. It works on pirate stations. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work here. Jump out of the shipty ship. That creates a save. We'll fly on up here. Let's see how many words we've got at the end of this, people. Let's go see this missions agent. Hello, missions agent. Gartesius. Hand in missions, yes. And there they all are. I can just hand them in here. Don't have to do it on the planet. Brilliant. Okay. None of these teachers autophage words. No, heck no, they don't. Not going to give me anything that I want, in fact. All of those missions. All right, fine. There we go, people. We just learnt a load of autophage words. Brilliant. Let's have a look at what we're on then, word count-wise, shall we? So the autophages, 
We're now on 825 words. So we have gone over the 800 that I wanted to hit. Next episode, it'd be nice if we can top the 850. And we'll just continue doing this autophage stuff until we're freaking done, people. I was going to end off by doing an outlaw mission, but you know what? Um, no. I, actually, I could do one, couldn't I? All right, well, let's go find a pirate area of space and let's go do one outlaw mission to end off this, this little video, shall we, people? I guess... Take to the skies! Meow. Let's bring up the old galactic map and we'll go find a pirate station, people. So to find a pirate station, I have got both the economy scanner and the conflict scanner installed. Now, in the conflict area, if you've got the conflict scanner, you will see a large skull like that I just saw there. There we go. If you've got the economy, you will still see a skull, but it's extremely small. And you could mistake it as a star rather easily. Easily. Anyway, I'll see you in the pirate station. Well, I've arrived at Kated, and we're heading towards the pirate station now, Outlaw Station. And as you get closer to it, you're going to notice some subtle differences to a normal station. You're going to see that it's slightly battered, and also it's got gun turrets on the entrance. It's taking me a while to get there. Okay, well, we're getting closer. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see the damage, because I don't think the sun's in the right position. You can sort of see it. It's slightly scuppered. Oh, there you go. It's all broken. But as I fly in, there you go. If I go into camera mode, just about now. Look at them. Look at those freaking cannons. Pretty awesome, aren't they? I want those for our bases, people. Heck yes, I do. That'd be pretty awesome. Then again, we need a reason to defend our bases. Makes more sense to have them at the settlements because they get attacked by sentinels. Then again, even bases do get attacked occasionally by outlaws flying over. Anyway, we've arrived. I digress. Let's go and have a look at what missions are on offer. And more importantly, what rewards. Because sometimes they do offer. The station overrides, they're rare, people. If you see a station override, be sure to try and get it. Prismatic shards, there's no reward of a station override. And out of all of these, I like raiding the capital ships the most. So we're going to go do that one. We're going to get given a walker's brain for doing so. Now, it is in creative mode. I don't know whether... I think I might just chuck this into normal. There we go. There we go. Let's go do the mission. Come on, shippity ship. We've got a freighter to destroy. I'll put it in normal mode, so at least... At least the fighters that engage with me are going to actually do something. You know, there is a chance I could still fail this mission. And I am still enjoying these outlaw missions. It's not like I've done an abundance of these. I've, I've done like, what, 27 of them or something. So I kind of want to do these legitimately. I know that might sound weird after you've seen me cheat the heck out of this game, but... Oh, look at that. Its shields are on. Take that, you! That's one done. Get out of the way! Shot my own fighter there, didn't I? Alright, well I don't know whether I got all of them. It was very hard to say, wasn't it, on that side? Let's go do the other side. I think I have got them all though. Yep. Let's go get this side done now. Right, so we've got through the shields. Aya! Is that all of them? I think we're done. Heck yes. Oh, we got some frigate fuel. Nice. My smartwatch just vibrated at me. I have got Miyogi coming to visit later, so. Yeah. Could be that he's hit me up or something. Let me know how his journey is going. Right, anyway, I need to get back to the old station, so I'm using the actual radar to get myself back there right now people or at least that, that's what i was hoping to do it's hard to say which one of these doohickeys on this map is the freaking thing now because for whatever reason even after you've done the mission it just stays like this like this is a target still well i can't see a health bar on this thing so i don't know whether i can completely wreck it and destroy it I mean, it still comes up with loads of, like, you know, blobs and that. There we go. Now I can see the station. It's over here somewhere. And we'll just pulse that way and hopefully we'll see it in a moment when we get away. Okay. Let's put... Divert... 
divert to there. To engines, I think that is, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. I want to get away. There you go. We've got the bounty mission. The bounty master thing there. There we are. And we're heading back to base. So I suppose if I do one of these every episode, then eventually we're going to finish all these outlaw missions. It says we have to do a whole load of them in one swave and probably get bored to tears. But then saying that, I did a live episode yesterday of me doing exactly that. Hopefully you guys caught that. I think I put a link at the start of this video to it. Might even put it as an end card. We'll wait and see. Anyway, I want to hand in my mission. I've completed the mission, haven't I? Oh, it's doing this again. It's acting like, um, yeah, there's another bounty in progress. Okay, the way that I got round this last time, people, it does this from time to time. It doesn't register that you've completed the mission. Jump to another pirate station. I should have one inside of my actual teleporter list. There's one right there. You go see another missions agent and they let you hand in the mission. For whatever reason, it's slightly broken. Yeah, I know, right? You wouldn't believe it, but yeah. Hello, games have let in a bug. Okay, well, I've arrived, located inside a completely different pirate station. Now, if you haven't got one in your teleporter list, you can just fly to another one. It's not a problem. I don't know whether you can just do this as a normal mission agent, you know, like I did for the ones on the planet. And then you get the hand-in mission option. Look, it's weird. It just seems to be slightly broken, that one. And that happened the last time I took out one of those giant vessels as well. So I don't know what's going on there, but it's slightly foobarred. Anyway, I'm going to jump in my ship out of my ship to create an autosave. Because why the fudge not? And then I'm going to be ending off, I think, people. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this episode, people. I enjoyed making it. I hope it put a smile on your face, no matter what you're doing. And until next time, people, you've been awesome. Please smash that subscribe button. If you've already done that, share my video on social media. Send it to a friend that plays No Man's Sky. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.